Hello everyone and welcome back to Sable. I am Zach Coyote. I'm picking up where we left off. Um, we just talked to uh, Sizzle over here and we are going to build our very first bike. Um, I apologize if there's any audio issues. I'm trying to work through that right now. Um, just kind of weird with recording. So hopefully this one turns out a little bit better. Um, I had published everything yesterday on the YouTubes. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's a little bit better. I kind of tweaked it a little bit. I'm still kind of learning how to make everything work. So, uh, yeah, just bear with me. But anyways, let's get this bike. Um, okay, so they... Oh, and also, I had... Oh, I'm actually starting to forget. There's... There's a way we can mark everything... Kind of forgetting how we do that. Is it shift? No. Use the map. Let me look up. There's Hoobly. Um. She taught us how to do it yesterday. I don't. I'll go back and look later. <laughs> um. Yeah, they, uh, she was able to show us how to use, is it, I can't remember how, what it was. Um, basically, you can mark objectives on your map. So that's good to have. Um, but yeah. Okay. So now we're just looking for parts. I don't know why it keeps starting me off at nighttime. Because um, it's not as pretty. And I would like to do it when it's pretty, but that's okay. gonna steal some stuff there's nothing of use to be found in the ship but I kept noticing the blinking light but I noticed a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit push the button a voice crackles from the machinery in front of me it sounds like a recording it's barely audible stop messing with those buttons you absolute idiot Sorry, Raymond. Concentrate. I don't think we have to remind you how much it work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's. Oh my God. I. I'm blinking. All right. Let's see what hap. Oh my God. All right. Let's see if what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. I hear the sound of the mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Raman. The sound of a click and a loud grunt, before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rona's mask. Not that hard. You torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing's moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? I'm assuming it's Ramen. I'm going with Ramen instead of Raymond. Let me check the machinist's nose. A long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Raymond? That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Oh, you silly little sillies. They ripped it out. And they couldn't stop. Okay. Uh, let's see what we've got. So I need to press a button. Somewhere. Check this again. There's nothing used to on the ship, but I know it's like the like, cockpit. I already did that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's supposed to happen. 
Are you looking for a calibrator? I am immediately on guard. Saima... I'm gonna go with Saitama, because that was the first one. Nah, that stick to the game. Saima has always been a mischief maker, and taking tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be a bit more... And should be more than able to withstand it. In practice. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never. Never. She never fails to get me. Mm. Let's try being nice. May I please have it? I decide to be gentle and ask her, may I please have it? May I please have it? She mimics me terribly, all high and screechy. Hey, I did it. Despite my best efforts, I seethe. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you'll find it on your own, but I don't think so. Oh, oh. Simon laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect the change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Saima. If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? It's something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator, or to acquiesce. There we go. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in camp know where I can find some. Alright, now we gotta look for freaking beetles. Alright. Um, I haven't explored over here yet, so I might as well go check it out. Maybe I'll find a beetle on my own. This is interesting. More money. Oh, oh nothing there. Nothing over there. Oh yeah, and uh, so I watched my first recording yesterday and just because I wanted to see how everything went that's how I got to know that the sound was a little wonky but it's fine um yeah uh, I'm very stupid <laughs> I realized that there's a lot of things that were very much in front of my face that I should have noticed right away but I didn't because I'm silly um Nothing over here. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to use my big boy brain and not be like that. Oh, nothing there. Okay. Okay, so that's all good. Start making my way to the dam. Yeah, I don't know why it's always at night. Nothing up there, it looked like. Ooh, a little tunnel. Okay, whoop. Hopefully if I park it, Okay, it's not going anywhere. Uh, looks like there's nothing over here. Can 
Can I push the box? Nope. Birdie. That's pretty. Levers. Anything else? No. Okay. Okay. Hmm. How am I gonna get across? I guess I could just climb. Did it, nailed it. I'm a genius. Let's see, what does this do? It opens the door. Just wanted to see if there's anything else. There's a lot of ships everywhere. Lots and lots of old wrecks. I should probably go check that out. I'll do it after you get the part. Do it on the way out. Another part. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got our control panel. Oh, can't go that way. Okay. Let's go back out. That was easy enough. I don't have to go kill a child. I wonder if there's anything up here. Oh. Can I not? No, I can't even climb up there. Okay. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm trying to think of things to say. Because at least with the glider, you can move around a lot. Watch me get up here and there's nothing. That's your reward. Going all this way, you find nothing. But yeah, uh, I was going to say what my thoughts are on the game. Um, I kind of feel like the main theme, it's kind of like... It's almost like a coming of age thing. Where it's like, oh, you have to leave your, you know, your family and, um, you know, you're going off on your own. Because it kind of has that, oh, oh boy, <laughs> Jeffrey, um, it kind of has that theme of like, you know, you're going off on your own. It's going to be, you know, kind of scary out there, but you'll make it and all that type of stuff. Um, and I like that. It's uh, kind of a fun way of <laughs> explaining the big scaries of life, um, especially since I'm kind of reaching that age right now where, you know, I'm kind of doing my own thing, um, you know, starting work and all that. So I think it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's just life in general where you do have to go on your own and you have to do all these things and it is scary and there's a lot that you have to do. All I got was money. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's just funny how life works a lot of the time. Most of the time you're not really ready for anything. And that's why, you know, a lot of the, like, dialogue choices you get to make, too. I can go underneath. Um, it's a lot of, like, you know, oh, I don't think I'm ready or I am ready. And it's kind of just wherever you are. 
Um, you know, and that's pretty common with life in general. I think it's pretty accurate. Or even if you think you're ready, you're not entirely ready. Um, you know, not until you actually get out there. Well, that's fine. You know, it's just part of life, man. Going through one day at a time. Everyone else puts their shoes and socks and pants on just like you do. You know, we all have our problems. We all have the things that we have to work through, so. I like it. I like that the game kind of centers around that. What's going on with my shoes? <laughs> my sandals, I guess. See, the game's so much prettier during the day. I wish you could rest throughout the night. That way, you get to see all the pretty colors. Now, I need to remember, no, it's not that, is it F, D, no, X, Z, C is crouch, is it shift? How did I do that before? I really can't remember. No. Because you're able to look out. I don't know. I'm not sure. Because I was going to look over there. But, oh well. Let's explore this real quick. I do apologize, this is kind of boring, but I don't know, I feel like this could just kind of be something you put on in the background while you're like doing, ooh, I found a beetle, so you don't know what I'm doing. See, this is all part of the plan, guys and gals. I'm not even catching them. Do I have to crouch? Okay. Well, I'm sure if I go talk to the people in the village, they will tell me how to do it. But now I know where they are. Um, but I wanted to do it on my own. Okay, well, we know where it's at. Ooh, there's another Jeffrey over there. I'm coming, Jeffrey! So 
so pretty. Okay. I could check this out real quick. See if there's anything new. Okay. So the main objective today is just to make the bike. I'm trying to make these videos as quick as I can. Um, you know, make sure they're enjoyable, but I don't know. I'm trying. Uh, let's go get the other part first, and then I'll come back and I'll deal with the little brat. Again, I'm gonna hit rocks no matter what, so <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to get used to it. Okay, so we gotta get up there. Looks easy enough. I've played enough Assassin's Creed in my time to know what I'm doing. So you gotta be careful using sprint if I'm gonna jump across stuff. Cause then I can run that out my stamina. Oop. Oh, didn't need to hold it for that long. See, super easy. We're already like halfway there. I can run up here. Ha! Got a secret. More money. See, I didn't even need to go to, um, what's her face? The old lady. Starts with a J. But, I'll take the money if I need it. Please don't tell me I had to go down somewhere. Oh, it's just one of these. There we go. Uh, oh, I think we're fine. That's all we needed anyways. Safely descend. Oh, perfect. Good thing I landed here. Cuts. A cache of 100 cuts made from metal, harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the metal where rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. Sweet. Dang, look at all this money I'm bringing in. See? Your girl knows what she's doing. She don't need no help from nobody. We did that. We're on our way back home. Now I gotta go get the beetles and then I'll beat up the brat.
Oh, and I can also buy a map from the cartographer. Go talk to Granny. Mm, I'll just ask for the Beatles. Oh, chatty. Sorry. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will come and start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. I tell JD that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether it's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Ooh, nice. <laughs> 420! <laughs> Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I think Jetty effusively and head out on my way. Okay, so I needed the seeds. See, I look, I saw that flower, and I was like, hmm, the flower? I should, I should use that flower, but I was like, you know what? I should talk to old lady JD. Because she's my homegirl, she's my bestest friend ever, I want to get jiggy at the mall. Um, I'm going to go to the nerd and buy his little map. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade that. Yeah. How do I how do I conclude the transaction? Enter. Uh oh. Oopsie. How do I what's going on here? E? Oh, there we go. Just press E. I'm sorry, okay. I'm <laughs> new to this whole thing. Good luck on your guiding table. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues are out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Hakoa to the Soda Quest. I thank Jordan for the tip, and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Okay. Check quest log. Um, so I gotta do the Beatles. I need the Caliber. And then do, oh, well, this is the thing that I'm doing right now. Okay, cool. I haven't talked to this person yet. Oh, let me go steal some money real quick. No one will notice it's gone. I am raking in the dinero. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Okay, that's Umar. Uh, there you are. The beetles are up in here. Up, up, 
Up we go. Until we find that time off. It's a lot of Lord of the Rings for my fellow nerds out there. Oh wow, completely bypassed that. Look at me. I'm a freaking genius. <clears throat> okay, so you said seeds. Just wait for one. Ha ha! Gotcha, stupid bug. Got him. Maybe I'll catch all of them. Maybe I can sell them or something like that. that Where are you running, huh? Were you afraid? Ah, they saw me. I'll let you live. That way you'll always remember. Is there anything up there? I doubt it. But it wouldn't be of me to not at least try. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think there's anything up there. I want to make it enjoyable for y'all. I don't want to waste y'all time. I feel like the night cycle is a lot longer than the day cycle, which is a little disappointing because I really like the daytime. Okay, I can go find that little turd. I think I know where she hangs out. This last time I found, oh my goodness gracious, I almost died. She was here last time. Yeah, there she is. I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Saima beetles. Rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving! You're leaving and you're never coming back! I comfort her. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. Hmm. Hmm. I miss her too. There's been a letter here and there. But it's always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go. I tell Simon not to worry, and I'll be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she she pouts behind the mask. I add that if I'm not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding by then, and then she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good. Then I can suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. See? As a younger sibling, I know exactly how that feels because it sucks when your older siblings leave for college or 
go out into the world and you're like, well, everyone's leaving me, but that's simply not true. It's just people are growing up. That's all part of the, uh, all part of the experience of life. Okay. Now I gotta go back to, um, Sizzle. I think it's funny how I can't really think of what a throaty voice sounds like, so I just gave Sizzo like a southern or country accent. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it just is what it is. There you go. I returned to Sizzle with the parts, and it's, and it's as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. Will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Then let us head to the workshop. Sweet, we're gonna build a bike. Scissor relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious, ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Sizzo is in her element. I wonder if this, I wonder if it's this way for all mechanists. Mechanists. It's mechanists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the is that the components you acquired, they fit together, not by chance, not by effort. Not by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. I think she meant... I, I think I misread. Don't judge me, people. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod, feeling soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that ma machines have names. Held for ages like deep secrets unheard by those unequipped to listen. We'll find this one's name together. Okay. Let's see, there's nothing else here except the components. Pick it up, please. Do I have to talk to her? No. Ooh. I'm assembling a bike. Okay. Ah. Oh boy. Scissor relaxes in the work. Oh wait. Where did I get all this? I already did all that. I don't know why it popped up again. Sea moon. Sweet. Listen. Sizzle tilts your head a moment, leaning closer to Sea Moon. <clears throat> all that I once knew, all at once, I know the hopper bike's name, Sea Moon. I say it in a whisper to let Sizzle know. Sea Moon. Sea Moon. Well done, Sable. Mm. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask her yourself. Sizzle looks entirely serious. The bike, to my endurance surprise, says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Simoon I'm eager to know her better, and Sizzle looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. 
May all the gods turn their faces as form you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but says I was prone to do such things, and I can read it in her tone that was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Sea Moon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow Mykonis in your travel. <laughs> travel, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and uh, here, take this. It's a Mykonis badge. You'll meet plenty of my elk in your gliding. To show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I think says so twice for good measure, and give a bow. I am ready. Sweet. I should speak to JD about the ceremony. No, just leave. Just leave. Don't tell anyone. There's a thing over there. I'll check it out in a bit. Oh, there is definitely an easier way to get up, but it won't. Just wanted to see. Okay. I return to JD with a new lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Sizzle gave it to me. I tell JD that Sizzle gave me this badge. Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mass caster in no time. I try to think about going to a mass caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. <laughs> Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there. And once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is more about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will be asked to choose one. How will I choose one? You'll have to feel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now. The tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's that time then, is it? Isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rana. There you'll assemble your gliding mask. And go. There are things I wish to convey to JD here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They are dyed with traditional Ibexi maroon, and I hope to provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Ibexi. You will simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I am ready. Wow. Like I said, very kids going to college theme. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it because it's everything that we've all felt at some point in our lives. Um, I wanted to go check out that one thing before we go that way. I should have just gone this way, though. Plant. <laughs> Jesus, things rickety.
feel like there's probably at least money up there. See, there's money here. Oh. No, it's another Jeffrey. Even better. I wonder where I can sell those. Nothing else. Cool. Um, this might be the way out. I can't, yeah, there's no way I can climb that. Yeah, I'm sure that's the way out. I'm going to go get my mask. And then we'll start heading out. Did I go over there already? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, so I found that one skull. I think it, no, it's not that one. Can I climb? Yes, this way. We've been here before. Let's go right. Or maybe left. Yeah. Sorry if I'm quiet. I don't know what else to say right now. <laughs> it's just a very interesting game. Um, oh, obviously, I step on this. There's a box over there, though. No, don't take me down. I goofed. I think I can go that way, though. See, I'm interested in the box because the only thing that's more important than finding out who you are is money. Maybe we get over there. I suppose that way. Yep, there you go.
Money. Heck yeah, 100 cards. Bird person, Mothman, Moth, Birdmon Mothma, Bird Mothma. Is there, an, yeah, there's an easy way to go over there. And complete. Ooh, pretty. Seeing if you want to get even more deep, the fact that the mask had an eye in that area, it's kind of common with like the third eye or, um, you know, your inner eye. So it's more of a, what's the word? Introspection, kind of. Okay, I think that's the right word. I'm partially dumb, so deal with it. Um, but yeah, it's more of a self actualization and realization. It's like Avatar. Look at that. It's like everyone's helping me. Can I put all these on now? There we go. Yay, look at me. <clears throat> I still have that. Oh, no, I don't need that. Okay. I think this is the way back out. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems a lot of, obviously interesting imagery and whatnot, but, um, I don't know, it, it's a little bit more philosophical, you know, kind of ask questions and, you know, purpose and meaning and all that, which I like. I don't think we talk about it as enough as a society, or at least in Western culture. I don't know about other places, but. At least in here, it's a lot of like, you know, well, you have to figure out, you have to know what you're doing with your life. Whereas, you know, in other cultures, it can be like, well, it's part of a journey. You don't have to figure everything out right here, right now. And, you know, you have to do it. Um, I think the bike is gone. I thought I left it here. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, I, th I think you know, forcing someone who's a kid to figure out what they want to do forever and ever and ever, it doesn't help at all. And you're left with a lot of, sometimes it's more questions and, you know, you're just frustrated because you had to pick something because you didn't like. I'll talk more in a bit. I'll let this whole uh, little thing play out. Logging in. Hello, Cerebral. JD's voice echoes strangely through the machine. Yeah, it still warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in the transmission, and for that I am grateful. I would be far too much it would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weep and not run weeping me into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends, you are not without family, you are not without love. These things you will always carry with you, as do you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this. But if I were you, I might go to see Yurati. They're the mechanists at Burnt Oak Station, amongst Zizzo's closest friends. 
Your auntie's a good contact to have on one's guiding, and a fine way to get another mechanist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the ewer. So keep an eye out on the post boxes, and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget things as easy as breathing ever could exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. My bike. Simon. Hold on, am I able to? Maybe I can do that later. So pretty. I really, really like this game so far. <laughs> I know I've talked about it a lot, and I know I've been quiet with a lot of it, but I don't know. It's a very, like I said, it offers a lot of perspective, you know, going out on your own, explore the world, you know, get to know things. And especially here in the West or in the United States, it's a lot of, you have to know what you're doing. You know, you have to have figured it out. And, like, in general, it's like, you know, you got to know what you want to do with it. You got to know what you want to do with the rest of your life. You know, you have to pick things for the rest of your life. And, I mean, yeah, in general, it's not all like that. But that's just kind of what life is, you know. You got to go out. You're on your own. You have friends. You have family. And you have people that love you. And I think that's something to remember. I think that's really important. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this game. I know I'm not a huge uh, YouTuber, and I don't know how many people this is going to reach, but uh, whoever is watching, I hope you really enjoy this. I hope you come along for the journey, and, you know, we have fun together. You know, maybe this is something that people watch, you know, some time from now, or maybe it's, you know, whoever you are in your life. I hope that the message of this game reaches you. I hope that watching this, you get a little bit of peace. You get a little bit of, uh, you know, fun and enjoyment. <laughs> you can laugh at me being dumb. You can, you know, just find uh, some kind of calm um, through this game. Um, I can't wait for the rest of the journey we have together, both in this and in life. So with that... I will say, uh, I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, and have a great day.